Well, welcome, or oh, welcome back to you again at Fans and Drones. My name's Anna, and this is my June TBR slash Royal Readathon weekend announcement. I apologise for the dodgy camera angle. I can't find the tripod again, and I have you sort of stacked precariously on random boxes. So. In the month of June, if you live in the United Kingdom or Great Britain, whatever you want to call it, you'll know that it's the Queen's Platinum Jubilee on the first weekend in June. So we've been given, and because this is hand control, <laughs> and because this is a once and this has never been done before. Um, our current queen is the longest reigning monarch we've been given an extra bank holiday so next next week from the 2nd to the 5th of June is a long weekend for us Brits and I thought what better way than to do a readathon for the weekend now at some point I will have the, in this video I will figure out how to put up the little bingo board that I have created. It's very simple. Um, it'll also be on my Instagram feed as well, at, and my Instagram is always linked below, it's at, game of, at a Game of Thrones, sorry, at a Game of Fangs and Thrones, I can't even get my channel name right now. And it's just a 5x5 five five bingo board with certain prompts which I will get to at the end of the video uh, but, in t but that's only four days and um, I don't think I'll read 25 books in four days but I just need to read five to get that bingo uh, but for the rest of the month I'm going to mood read but I do want to focus on sequels and continuations of series so that includes <coughs> This one, which is The Man Who Died Twice by Richard Osman. This is the sequel to The Thursday Murder Club, which follows a group of OAPs as they solve murders. It's cosy. Um, please excuse my lip. I have a bit of a cold sore that's just taken over. Um, <clears throat> and then we also have Crescent City Book 2. I don't need to talk too much about that one. And then I have Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong, which is just there. And I have um, You Love Me. So I have quite a few series that I've started. Um, so at some point I will try and finish them. I do want to have a sort of a series check-in video some point in June as well, so I can see where I'm at. We do have a rough list of series in my bullet journal which will come in handy but yeah I've been feeling very mood reedy lately and I have just downloaded uh, set up Kindle Unlimited as well so we'll be getting some use out of that me thinks uh, but on to the readathon so I'm calling it the Royal Readathon because you know Platinum Jubilee and it is just a bog standard bingo board 5x5 five five, um, with various prompts which <coughs> I will go through um, in a bit the rules of this readathon so it starts from midnight on the Thursday well Wednesday night Thursday morning whichever way you want to talk, do it which is the 4th let me check So yeah, it would start on the midnight of, right, so Wednesday night is the 1st of June, and then the Royal Weekend, whatever you want, the Platinum Jubilee celebrations, whatever you want to call them, start on the 2nd of May, so it's the morning of that. I'm never sure how that works out because it, to me it would be midnight on the Wednesday. Um, so that runs from 
midnight on Wednesday the 1st in your time zone to Sunday the 5th of June in your time zone. Um, personally, I won't be doing 24 hours because I need my sleep. <laughs> um, but you can if you want. Um, if anybody is interested, I will host reading sprints. Just let me know in the comment down below. And you can double up on prompts. So one book that, from what I remember of my prompts off the top of my head, uh, one book that will fulfil five, but not a bingo five, is Casey McQuiston's Red, White and Royal Blue because three of the prompts are the flags, are the colours of the British flag, or you, the, uni the Union Jack, red, white, blue. So this fulfils three prompts just on the colours alone. Um, it follows a prince. So that gives us two more prompts because um, the next so next row I will have a the graphic up at the end of the video and we'll go through it properly. Uh, but this fill so then it also fulfills two prompts from the middle row which are Prince and Royal Royalty. I know very specific these prompts. But yeah <coughs> that's it. Um I think I'm going to start a hashtag on <laughs> on uh, Instagram for Royal Readathon, so I'll be checking that out and I think it's probably time to show you the prompts. Okay, so we have our bingo board. It is fairly self-explanatory. Uh, you need to make a row of five that can be up and down, left to right, right to left or diagonal as long as it is five in a row. So we have our colours, uh, red, white, blue, yellow, purple. These are books that are have any of those colours in the title on the cover or if they have sprayed edges. The next column starting with Kingdom if it is set in a particular kingdom um, or queendom, if they are the um, primary settings or it features the word kingdom in the title or series, Duke and Duke Duchess and Princess or Prince, they are self-explanatory. Again, if there are any of those characters, uh, characters with those titles in the book or the book features, uh, the book title features any of those characters. Uh, royalty, it just needs to feature any kind of royalty and that includes people of power or influence as well as um, gods and goddesses. So anybody in a position of power or influence will count for royalty. Uh, jewels, if the cover has a jewel or any kind of jewellery on it or a character if a book has a cover with the character with the um any kind of jewellery or jewels if a character is named after a particular jewel or it features jewellery or jewels in any capacity so mining um heist character could, could be called emerald and uh, then we have the, next, the third column, uh, middle column, party slash celebration, needs to have some sort of party element to it, dogs, um, same as horses, has to have a horse or a dog in the title or um, feature any of those characters, those animals, uh, can be on the cover, can be an animal companion, any horse or dog-like creature will fit for this prompt. As uh, so of a dog you could have your werewolves, um, horses, centaurs, pegasi, that kind of thing. Uh, palace or castle, self-explanatory, it just needs to feed, needs to take place in a palace, castle or some sort of stately home. Um, romance needs to be a ro it just needs to be in the romance genre, uh, whether that's fantasy romance, historical romance, contemporary romance, it just needs to be romance. Uh, then you'll see that the 
top of the next column says 70, so that's 70. That prompt is open to a lot of interpretation. We are celebrating 70 years of the Queen, so we need 70 in there. So that can be either a, either a story where the character is over 70 or close to 70. Uh, you can even have it so that the it ends on 70 pages, so it could be 570 pages long, or it could be... Uh, but what I'm interpreting that prompt as, even though I made it, is seven. It just has to have a seven in it somewhere, so it can be 755 pages, or it can have seven characters like Daisy Jones and the sixth, or it can be the seventh book in a series. Historical, just anything set in the past, oldest on TBR, self-explanatory, newest on TBR, self-explanatory, uh, special edition. So this can be um, a signed edition, anything sprayed edges, um, a bookstore exclusive, a subscription box exclusive, or a book that is special to you for whatever reason. So say it was a present from your best friend. Uh, then starting on the last column, we have finish a series, start a series, middle grade, YA or adult, or five star prediction. So any questions, drop me a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. I do also have an Instagram page where that, uh, where the bingo board will be available to look at. And that's it for this video, so give it a like if you like it and hit that subscribe if you want to see me and talk about more books and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!